Hi, I'm Udit Kumar. I am PhD student at the University of Central Florida. I'm going to present my work on self-cleaning antiviral nanofilm suppressor to combat coronavirus transmission. Never let a good crisis go to waste. What is the biggest crisis of our lifetime for us millennials? It is COVID-19. It has already killed more than 1 million people in the world and more than 38 million people already infected. More than 200,000 people died already in US. What makes this virus so deadly? It is spread so easily. What is the most common method of spread? Surface to surface spread. These viruses remain active on surfaces from two, three hours to two, three days, depending on the type of surfaces. And back in April, there was a SUS of some EMT worker came out COVID positive on swab test. What is the need of the hour? We need a self-cleaning PPE which can deactivate the virus on its surface so that if you touch any other surface wearing those PPE, it would not spread any COVID-19 viruses. And now, what's the most common method of disinfecting? Most common method of disinfecting employed is UV radiation. It's been already been used in bio labs and different hospitals, and people have already used overhead bulbs, chambers, and handle devices. There's already published research in which people have seen uh, virus inactivation using UV, uh, UV radiations. Now taking motivation from this work, we came up with a concept called CAPTCHA, conformal antiviral nanofilm or personal protective equipment materials to combat coronavirus transmission. What it is, it is a, doing a layer by layer coating on top of existing PPE like anetrile gloves and other PPE with cationic and anionic polymers. And between those layers, sandwiching an upconversion nanoparticle. What an upconversion nanoparticle does, it is basically upconverting your visible light, normal white light, sunlight, or, or light at your home, or light at any commercial places, to UV radiation. And that localized UV radiation, when it coronavirus on its surface, it disintegrate them, it make, deactivate them, and you. When you touch other surfaces using that PPE, it will not spread any virus. But the material we came up for this application is a yttrium silicate with presbydymium, gadolinium, and lithium doping. As you can see, presbydymium is an active center and gadolinium is a co-doping. Lithium helps in other functions. Uh, as you can also see, we have already seen up conversion in the fluorescence spectra. The excitation was from visible polyatiate anamide and emission was clearly in UVB and UV series. This work has already been filed patent for, and we have got funding from this work back in April. Where when in the midst of a pandemic, we wrote a proposal re uh, regarding this concept, and we got a rapid funding from NSF. As you can see, for upconversion nanoparticle, we applied uh, a very simple, fast soldier method, which is easily scalable, and we have obtained less than 10 nm size of nanoparticle. And also, actually, you can see the phase formation happened. And uh, for the layer by layer device, uh, layer by layer coating, we had uh, made a custom built layer by layer device. As you can see here, it's basically a sequential doping, uh, dipping of your sample in cationic and anionic polymers. And in between those, it need to dip in UCNP solutions and it will sandwich them and uh, coat on the top, top of the PPE surface. It's all, all, also been added oligomer grafting in it which basically uh, attached to coronavirus spike protein and there is another method to deactivate them. The, we have already coated on PPE surface and again done the fluorescence spectroscopy and we have seen some UV emission with visible excitation as shown here. Then for antiviral testing, we go for black assays, which, uh, in which we made a viral load solution mixed with uh, UCNP solution, also with the surfaces coated with UCNPs. Then we expose with biocabinet light as well as normal LED light and try to see how much of a deactivation of the virus going on. We have tested it on Zika virus and SV5 virus and we have seen quite a deactivation with uh, normal white light, not even high intensity light. And coronavirus testing is still going on. For conclusion, I would like to say we have successfully made upconversion nanoparticle with upconvert normal white light to UV radiation. And which in, and also deactivated some of the vi common viruses in COVID-19 testing going on. Thanks for tuning in.